Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am your host, Data T, and this is my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story comes out of Wilson Mills, North Carolina, and the title reads, Wilson's Mills father shoots, kills intruder who threatened his juvenile daughter. I would expect nothing less than a loving father to do this. Guys, before we get into today's story, how about you guys, if you don't mind, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Remember, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers, and I would love to have your help and for us to get there, and I know we can get there together. Guys, you can also hit me on Twitter, on Minds, and on Truth Social. So, let us begin. Hey, Steve, I stopped by that home on Parker Street where this all happened. A man there did not want to comment. Neighbors on that same street calling this all very alarming. Many have young children. Now a man is dead for allegedly approaching an 11 year old girl. That child's father shot him. Now I also spoke with the Wilson Mills Police Chief AZ Williams, who said the call came into dispatch as a breaking and entering and shooting in progress call just after 9 p.m. Sunday night. Now three kids were outside playing. Two ran inside to get their parents and the 11 year old remained outside with the suspect. Investigators said things escalated when the suspect attempted to follow the children inside the home, apparently pulling and shaking the door handle. Police say the father shot and killed the suspect. The father was not arrested. This investigation is ongoing, being led by the Johnston County Sheriff's Office. Chief Williams said this is one of the first violent incidents in the small town. So let me stop it there. Uh, not too much video here, but guys, um, there is always a bond between a father and a daughter, a mother and a son. Um, this is a natural reaction. And I say this all the time. We do not celebrate death here, but we absolutely, absolutely applaud the father for defending his children, for defending his daughter and I have to tell you I am a father I recently um, had a little girl and I would burn the entire world for her okay so having said that and understanding this father's position imagine if someone threatens your child it is it is it has got to be one of the most horrific things to go through to experience for someone and 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 what and what did your children do you know at even certain some i would say in some ages children are innocent but at some ages they do become conscious of good and evil Okay, and I would say that that could be, I would say somewhere around just after five, six, nine, definitely 11, 10, 12. They know what is right, what's wrong. Okay, it's why we have all those bullying and, you know, they go to school and make fun of each other. Yes. Okay. Children can be very terrible as, as well. Okay. But an adult, an adult is an adult. Okay, and he will have many, many things that a child will not have. Okay, uh, the ability to do some things for themselves, uh, children don't have that. So, for them to go after children is is just it is grotesque. And this guy, he got what he deserved. Okay, kudos for the father. For defending his daughter. Let's play the rest of the story. In the five years he's been with the police department, he also shared the family of the 11 year old girl did not know the suspect 
and this all appears to be random. In Johnston County, Jimmy's Price, ABC. Now, guys, last thing, and then we'll close this out. This is a very short video, but think about this. What do you do when it is a random encounter? Yes, you can be on guard all the time, um, especially if you know the neighborhood is rough, right? Understandably so. But you just heard earlier in this video that these people were not, they didn't think anything like that would happen in their county, in their small town. Things don't happen like this. It's a very safe place. Fuck that. You need to be aware. I personally can't stand that. And I'm going to tell you, I live in a very safe place place okay there are people that live in a safe place those people should be hyper vigilant that any day somebody may come and disrupt the peace okay and when that happens you are ready and thank goodness this father had the foresight at least to have a firearm just in case and he was able to use it and that is the whole point people Earlier, I saw that the uh, the case for the ATF looks like it has been vacated. Okay, meaning uh, there is no more uh, what's it call it uh, pistol brace rule. Okay, mm -hmm. that it is now gone. Okay, and I am applauding this. I love that. Um, this is no longer something that the America, the American people have to deal with, okay? And the fact that it says here we must prepare to respond to every possible outcome, okay? You have to be. You have to be. And the fact that, pe that these people keep wanting to take away our firearms, it is, it is just something that I, I see it as a betrayal of. Okay, but if we stay on topic, okay, well, let me stay on topic and say that you have to be ready. The time will come. I'm telling you, I really do believe the time will come where they will just outright come and ban us, ban Americans from having firearms. They are going to, do, I, I really do believe they're going to try to do this. Uh, people up on high are going to just say, you know what, the American people, we have to stop this. No one should have guns. And then guess what? Only the criminals will have them. Guys, you know what I say at the end of this, and I always say it, and I believe it, okay? Good people should have guns. Good people should have guns. They should have more guns. They should always have guns. Fathers should have guns. Mothers should have guns. Evil will persist if you do nothing. If there were no good people, if there were no good men and women, there would be no good guys.